hold on. Go ahead, please. I was young. My mother kicked me out of the house. I had to go live with my dad in South Boston. And South Boston was a very scary place for any young man at that time. It was very, very dangerous, you know. You, you looked around, all you see were uh, sneakers strapped up over uh, over electrical lines just everywhere, you know, and uh, luckily uh, I, downstairs, I was on the third floor, uh, my dad and I, on the four, first floor, I was lucky enough to have this man, Tommy Atado, take me under his wing, take me to McDonough's gym, the toughest gym of... Uh, <laughs> one of the toughest, meanest, smartest gyms uh, in America. We had like uh, not only some of the toughest fighters, that was one of the most incredible brain trusts in the history of the fight game. Freddie Roach came out of there. Uh, um, Dana White came out of there. Uh, uh, Mark Nardone was out of there, who was a... Uh, as a coach, he has his fighters have a knockout of the night and a fight of the night. Uh, in the UFC, Peter Welsh came out of there. Um, uh, he's an ultimate fight reality coach. He's got tons of accolades. G.S. Strice and uh, the former Soviet uh, Olympic coach who had had to flee the country. He was a two-time Olympian and Olympic team member. Like for there, and he he was down there once a week bringing his fighters down to spar. So we, we, we had a an old an old school Soviet master of sport taught by Freddie Roach, all mixed together with Dana White, and, and it was just unbelievable. It was just, a, guys like Tommy Atato, it was a true experience you can't even describe.